Hello, my name's Erwin Rothenberg, and today we're going to discuss correcting laboratory report errors. When a laboratory report must be corrected and the amended results are sent to the ordering physician, questions might be raised regarding the quality of the laboratory work such as those regarding the accurate operation of the instrumentation involved, the competency of the testing staff, and whether the laboratory director and or technical consultant or supervisor have been fulfilling their oversight responsibilities. While the report is the end result of the testing process, the reasons for the release of an erroneous report must be investigated, and the investigation may need to go all the way back to the pre-analytical phase. Now, that means from checking out the test ordering to the specimen collection and handling, through the analytical phase, checking out the instrumentation, the reagents used, staff competency, and so on all the way to the post-analytical phase that includes verification of the laboratory information system for automated and manual results transfer. Of course, erroneous results may be due simply to a manual transcription error or an initial verbal report that was misunderstood or an actual patient mix-up, which of course is more serious. But as simple as these are, the reasons these occurred at all may indicate a problem that may involve core issues of oversight, training, communication, and documentation. There needs to be a formal laboratory policy and procedure for the correction of erroneous laboratory reports, after the correct results, of course, have been obtained and policies for sending amended reports as soon as possible. Now, these policies should include the following. Identify who is to be notified when an error in your report has been detected. Document all steps taken to correct the error. Provide the ordering physician with the corrected report. Retain the original report and the corrected report together for future reference. Perform a root cause analysis if systemic issues have been involved, and if serious enough, it is important to perform an incident management study. And have alternative contact plans if the laboratory is unable to reach the ordering physician or provider in a timely manner. Make sure to include this event in your quality assessment, including follow-up to ensure that all corrective actions taken have been effective. Following these policies and procedures will ensure a consistent quality laboratory response when erroneous reports are issued. Thank you.